It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show up, get your shine on. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on. And welcome back to Candy Fresh. As you can see, we have a full crew with us right now. I'm with the band MPLS. Super excited. We're getting ready to have them perform in just a little bit. But first, we got to get to know the many voices and talented musicians who make up this group. So I think I'm going to talk to Jesse first. Hey, hey. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to Candy Fresh. Tell us, how did MPLS come to exist? Hmm. Uh, well, Brandon should be the best one to answer that question, honestly. But uh, as far as what I know, um, it started with a group of friends mm -hmm. who wanted to play music together and create together. And uh, that started a long time ago, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everybody on the stage has been working together around the Twin Cities for however many years in different, in different things. And we started to run into the same people over and over. So I would see Dave and Beef and Rob and then we would do shows with DG, and then obviously my sister moved back from uh, Chicago, from DePaul, and uh, so we just decided to keep it going. We found Jesse. Johannes is the hardest working bass player in Minnesota, so when we can have him, we have him. Um, you know, we've had to fight a couple people to make sure we can keep them. You uh -oh. know what I mean? We're serious about ours around here. You okay, know. <laughs> it's real. Si oh, oh my God, it's real serious around here. Okay, okay. So that's Brandon. I want to talk to Ashley. Hey, you. hey girl, hey. Welcome Hi. back to you, DG. But so we got a, some some family business happening yes. here. So do you like keep the whole group in check or ju like <laughs> just your, how does this work? Because you don't, you know, you're the only one representing for the ladies up here. Right. So how do you, down? you know, holding it down? And that's hard. And but it's also very typical, especially in the entertainment industry, mm. you know, to be in such a male dominated workforce. So how do you do it? Um, well, first of all, I'm kind of like one of the boys, so, you know, they don't really care that I'm a girl. They still do all the jokes and all of that, but I can give them back. Okay. So, that's part one, but part two, I'm fairly strong, <laughs> <laughs> and I probably am the no person in the group, so mm. I, I do, I can keep them in line. I got it. You, you hold it down. I got it. I hold it down. Okay, so if you are the enforcer, DG, what is your role in the band? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm the quiet one. Ashley usually tells me no. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, what is my role? My role is usually to bring the funk. Okay. The stinkiest of the funk. Oh, stinky. <laughs> yeah, that's that's often my okay. role. That's my job. That's uh, that's important. That's, job. that's because we need the funk. So, so what is the Minneapolis sound like? Well, explain that to me. Anybody? Somebody? Anybody? <laughs> I want to hear from Beef. Hi. <laughs> hey, Beef. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Um, talking about this Minneapolis sound? Yeah. All right. We're going to delve into that a little bit. Uh, the Minneapolis sound, it started uh, a long, long time ago when I was a twinkle in my father's eye. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just a twinkle. Just a twinkle. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. No. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, it's funk. It's rock. It's so all confused. Cannot confused. All together in one, fused as one. Uh, kind of like big green pot, you know what I mean? And you let it mm, simmer. I love greens. I, mm. I love them too. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, greens. <laughs> All of that. So that's what it, it. That's what the Minneapolis sound is. Okay. I'm just saying that that goes without mentioning. I'm saying like we're getting to the to the nitty gritty, dude. I yes, we argue on the mic. No, but that's but that's okay. This is this is a family affair, right? So I want to hear from my family. I want to hear from Rob real quick. Rob, tell us about the legacy of this group because I know. We mentioned Uncle P, and there's a, a huge roster of um, artists that you guys have had the opportunity to work with and to collaborate with. So tell us about some of those folks. Well, um, our group is like a melting pot. Um, Brandon has been blessed with the opportunity to be with Mint Condition as a drummer. Mm -hmm. Johannes and um, Ashley are part of Sounds of Blackness, and Johannes, like Brandon said, has played with many other artists not just locally, nationally, but internationally. Um, Jesse has had uh, a chance to play with, um, I'm sorry, help me out, Judith Hill. Judith, Judith Hill. Who Judith was a part, is everything. Who was a part of uh, Under Prince as well. Mm -hmm. um, DG has his own um, collective band called Hustle Rose, who I'm a part of, yeah. um, which is a funk soul band. And Beef has had his um, hip hop career started with a group called Just Live. Yeah. Um, 
which me and Brandon were a part of as well. And then, of course, we heard from David Billingsley earlier, mm -hmm. um, not only with his school of music, um, but he's also been really a, a, a pillar and a transformation in gospel keys and just a keyboardist extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. So if you look at our band, it's not that we're just a family here. We take our gifts and spread them out amongst the masses, and that's what makes us, you know, special. I love it. I love it. Can we make some noise for that really quick? So much talent here on this stage. Can we pass, can we pass the mic to Johannes? Yeah, I will. Now, Thank you, Deacon. <laughs> now, I want to I wanna hear what, in, what inspires you to do what you do, because you worked on the local, the national, and the international level. So what inspires you to do what you do? And what advice also would you give for aspiring musicians who want to do what you do? Uh, music is what inspires me first, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what, uh, where I go. Sometimes you do uh, the gig that pays you good. Uh, a lot of times I always look forward for my friends uh, that know me uh, you know, as I come up uh, and uh, creating music and sharing the love and the trust that you have to create what you do is the best gift. Sometimes we think about uh, living the, the, the dream, you know, playing with some big star here and there, but I've noticed sometimes when those players come to town and get to see us, they can't do what we do mm. on a local come level. On. So we are actually come the on. dream, they, you know, they look forward to play uh, what they want, when they want. Nobody telling them, oh, you just played too much here, or you didn't do this part, you know, so that freedom to create uh, and to have a good hang as friends, mm -hmm. uh, you know, go crazy. That's, that's really where the, you know, beauty that's, is. That's where the magic yeah. is. I love that. I love that. So why don't we pass the mic to David? Yes. David, let's hear Bishop. from you again. I understand. <laughs> oh, is this Bishop? Uh, Bishop no, David? No. no? It's Buddha. No. It's Buddha. Oh, Buddha. Buddha oh, Day. See this? Buddha Bill. It's a lot of inside jokes <laughs> happening dollar, right dollar now. Bill. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to ask during a commercial break. But I want to hear from David because you guys have some new music coming out. And I want to know when it's coming out. When can the Candy Fresh audience hear about that? Yo, we got a lot of hot music on the way. We've been cooking in the studio. Um, we've been cooking together, um, making some really cool things. You're going to hear something today, actually. Okay. Um, so be looking for us all 2017. We're dropping new music, singles, and um, all kind of stuff. Like, So you just want to stay, stay in touch, watch the videos, check out the Facebook and the Instagram, Twitter, because it's going down. And then, Brandon, what's your website? So you can find us at uh, www.soundslikempls.com. You can find us on Facebook slash Sounds Like MPLS. YouTube slash Sounds Like MPLS. Twitter slash Sounds Like MPLS. Instagram, Snapchat, Christian Mingles, uh, Black People Meet, Black, <laughs> Black Planet, Planet Tinder. Mingles. Oh, no, not Tinder. Facebook, MySpace. MySpace, Top MySpace. 8. MySpace, yo. Yes, we're all over the place. Do I got time to answer the inspiration question or I mean for the next? Yeah. What did you ask about how to t what, how to tell people what to do next? Yeah, we have a lot of young people in the audience mm. and a lot of young people watching at home and also some adults who are going into their second careers, you know, so it's help them, help them, help them out. Whatever you do, whether it's singing, dancing, drumming, drawing, painting, architecture, karate, whatever you do, cooking, be dope. Make sure that you are the best you can possibly be. Do not ask people to support you until you know you are worth supporting. And I don't mean that to diss. I mean that to take what you do very, very seriously so that people always, always know that your brand is worth it. Be worth it. Be worth it. I, can, I don't think we could end on a much better note than that. You're going to see why MPLS is worth it in just a minute. Make sure you keep it locked. You're watching Candy Fresh. That candy fresh got the new now next. If you were those artists in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Can